Everyone to see why new Swan's Down Cake Mix beats all other leading mixes. Tested by over 4,000 women in their own kitchens, Swan's Down is the only mix that wins in all four must for homemade cake, homemade size, homemade texture, homemade moistness, homemade taste. That's because the special new ingredients in Swan's Down Cake Mixes are made to blend perfectly with your own fresh eggs. Try the new Swan's Down Cake Mix in your own kitchen today. You'll love it. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome to Mondays with Mark. I'm Mark, and this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> welcome or welcome back. And oh, is it great to see you tonight. And we have such a fun episode, y'all. We do. I tell you, I just love a good cake mix hack. Oh, I love it. Now, I'm not above using a cake mix if I'm in like a pinch or a crunch for a time. But, uh, but cake, mix ha cake mix hacks, oh, they're it's one of my favorite things to do. And I had time this week to, you know, play around with some cake mixes and come up with some recipes. And tonight we have three fantastic recipes to do. Oh, man. But before we get to that, how y'all doing anyway? Did you have a good weekend? I really hope you did. Thanks, everyone, who showed up for our Sunday Night Live. It was I just have to say, as usual, it was it was so nice. It was great to see everybody. It's like sitting around with old friends and having coffee and talking. It, it's really, really nice. So thank you, everybody who showed up. We do our live stream every Sunday night at 6 o'clock. So if you haven't been yet, definitely stop by this Sunday, okay? So, um, yeah, I hope you had a great weekend. We had a nice weekend here. The weather's been pretty mild, but we have a snowstorm on the way tonight. I think I remember last Monday's with Mark last week, there was a snowstorm too, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know. But we're supposed to get about uh, four to six inches, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. You never know. It is a storm that's happening overnight, though. Uh, it's supposed to start any minute, and then it's supposed to last until seven in the morning, so... Uh, the commute to work ought to be fun, huh? <laughs> but I'm not thinking about that right now. I'm thinking of some yummy cake mix hack recipes. Ooh. And like I said, we have three of them to do tonight. So we're going to get into the kitchen and get started right away. But first, I mean, no cake mix hack recipe or video would be complete without first taking a look at the very interesting origins of the boxed cake mix. The boxed cake mix has become a kitchen cupboard standby, relied upon for birthdays, special occasions, and even lazy day desserts in many homes. In fact, in a recent poll, more than 70 million more Americans used mixes to make cakes than used cake flour. Homemade from scratch cake may be becoming an endangered species, but the boxed cake mix wasn't an instant hit as food companies well, quickly found out when they came upon the idea. In the United States, box cake mixes were a Depression-era invention of John D. Duff of P. Duff & Sons, a Pittsburgh molasses company. Duff was looking for a way to use up his company's molasses surplus, so he dehydrated it and combined it with a mixture of flour, sugar, and dried eggs. This mix allowed home cooks to make gingerbread by simply adding water. Water. And this mix was the first cake mix sold in the United States. Sold in a can, not a box, and it came on the market in 1929. 
After World War II, cake mixes really took off. Big flour companies had spent the war concentrating on creating dry mixes for the troops, but the end of the war allowed flour companies to return their focus to busy consumers, and several major companies began developing cake mixes. Betty Crocker began selling theirs in 1947. Oh, and uh, did you know Betty Crocker was named after a fictional character in direct response to the thousands and thousands of baking questions the company received from home bakers. Hmm, pretty interesting. The following year, in 1948, Pillsbury launched the first ever chocolate cake mix, and by 1951, Duncan Hines, Pillsbury, and Betty Crocker were all manufacturing cake mixes, and the battle of the cake mix began. And the boxed cake mix remains popular today. In fact, it's estimated that over 187 million people made a cake from a cake mix in 2022. <laughs> wow. That's pretty interesting, huh? You know, me and my interesting facts there, you know. <laughs> anyway, so, okay, okay. So, while I have your attention, um, okay, y'all, I need some help. I need some help. So, I need you to send in some viewer greetings. I'm already running out of them. We just started two weeks ago showing them, and I'm already starting to run out. Oh, and it's so easy. Don't fret over it. Just take your phone, turn it around, look at it, hit record, say hello, say where you're from, and that's it. And you can just send it to me through email or instant messenger. And heck, you know what? If you're if you're shy or don't want to be seen, you know, just like shoot your puppy, you know, or your kitty cat, or maybe your garden or the sunset or the sky or something and say hello, you know? So, all right. So a little plea from me to you. Send me some viewer greetings, please. I could start repeating some of the ones we've already done, too, but I usually don't do that for, like, a little while, you know? <laughs> all right, are you ready to head into the kitchen and make some, uh, some deliciously fun cake mix hack recipes? Because I totally am. I can't wait. Come on, let's go. Oh, okay, so up first with our cake mix hack recipes, I knew I wanted to do cake mix hack cookie of some sort, but I didn't want to do the same recipe that probably everybody has tried, you know, the one with the cake mix and the pudding, and I think there's an egg in it. Now, my recipe is pretty similar, but I think it's a little bit better because I had a lot of time to kind of tweak it. In fact, it took four tries to get it done right. Now, these were all made in the air fryer, and the first attempt, as you can see, very brown on the bottom and raw in the middle. Now, the second attempt, they were very brown all over, the bottoms were good, and they were cooked all the way through. Now, the third attempt, okay, they were cooked all the way through, but still a little brown on the bottom for my taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's how that turned out, but the end result, oh, super good, super delicious, soft and tender cookies, and that's what we're going to make today. Soft and tender sugar cookies made in the air fryer, oh yeah, <laughs> with a cake mix. So let's get started. In my bowl here, I have our cookie dough, and that just consisted of, well, a cake mix, and I used a white cake mix. Nice thing about this recipe, oh yeah, you can use any flavor cake mix you want. But since we're making sugar cookies today, I use the white cake mix, okay? Also in that bowl are two eggs and a, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half of a cup of coconut oil, which we melted before we poured in there. We don't want it to be solid. And then we had a tablespoon of cornstarch. We mix that all up until we have a stiff dough just like this, and that's perfect and ready to go. So we have our uh, little uh, pan here, and I lined it with some parchment paper. And now it's all about rolling and rolling and baking, okay? So we're gonna do it about like, I don't know, about a tablespoon, and we're gonna roll a ball just like that, and then, 
I have an assortment of rainbow sprinkles and chocolate sprinkles, coarse sugar, oh, anything you would like. So we roll our bowl, and then we're gonna just kinda roll them right in our jimmies. Jimmies or sprinkles, yeah, you know, it's the age old uh, debate there. I think we've been through this before, right? <laughs> and then we're just gonna place it right on our pan like that. And then we're gonna repeat, 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 repeat with the rest of our now, okay? All right, so let's see, we got six here. Let's do six first. I'm sure we can put more on there. When I did these before, I did eight at a time. So, so we're gonna air fry these on air fry, and I have it preheated to 325, and we're gonna put it on the bottom slot, uh, just like that. Now, it does say to bake in the, on the middle, but we're using the air fry button and not the bake button, so we're gonna put them on the bottom, okay? So we're gonna let those bake for five to six minutes. Now, if you only have a basket air fryer, no worries at all. Follow the recipe just the same way, uh, except for just use your basket and put some parchment paper in the bottom of your basket before you bake them. And uh, and just keep checking them there until they, you have the desired doneness, okay? But um, my friend at work made them in her basket air fryer, and she said the recipe was just perfect, um, and she took them out at six minutes, okay? All right, let's let these babies bake. Oh, they're looking good. Okay, it's been exactly five minutes. Let's pull them out. Oh, yes, they are ready. I can tell, I can tell, I can tell. <laughs> All right, so we'll put them there to cool, and uh, I guess we'll get on with the rest of our dough here. And I'll show you what they all look like once they're done. Right. Ooh, last batch is out. Nice. <laughs> and, oh. It's just so good, so good. They turned out really, really nice. There's the bottoms, just perfect. Nice and tender and soft on the inside. Look, uh, oh, these are really, really good. You gotta try them. Oh, nice. So, wanna make some cupcakes? It's time to frost my cake. Someone thinks your cake is pretty good without frosting. Sydney, you're in trouble. Uh-oh. Okay, up next, we're gonna be making some, okay, wait for it. Jelly donut cake mix cupcakes. So let's get started, okay? In my bowl here, I have one whole box of yellow cake mix. In addition to that, we have one box of French vanilla instant pudding and one half teaspoon of salt. To that, we're gonna add one cup of milk and one cup of vegetable oil. And we're gonna add four large eggs. <laughs> Ooh. And now we're just gonna mix that up until it's all nice and smooth. Just perfect. <laughs> okay, so next I have a cupcake pan here and I put some cupcake liners in them and yep, now we're gonna scale all of this batter up into all of our cupcake cavities. You like that cupcake cavities? And I love using an ice cream scoop for this part. So let's get all of these filled up and then I'll tell you how we bake them. Okay, so now we're gonna bake these in a 350 degree oven for anywhere from 18 to 22 minutes, okay? And you can always test them with a toothpick, you know? Poke it in there, make sure it comes out clean, and you'll be good, okay? Okay, I think we are ready here. They look right. Oh yeah, we are ready to go. Very good. And as you can see, this is this is kind of what we wanted. We wanted it like 
round like this instead of poofed up. And that's what we were going for because these are donut cupcakes. I kind of wanted to make them look like a filled donut, right? So now what we have to do is let those cool off. Now they don't need to be cooled totally, like completely, just cool enough for us to handle, okay? So that'll be about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So while those are cooling, let's get the ingredients ready for the next part. Yeah, there's another, another few more steps to this. On the stove here, I have a pot and I have some frying oil in there. Use the oil of your choice. I just use regular vegetable oil and we're going to heat that up because yes, we're going to deep fry these. <laughs> and then here I have a bowl full of powdered sugar and then I have some seedless uh, raspberry or blackberry or strawberry jam. So we're all ready to go. I'll see you in a couple minutes once these babies cool down a little bit. Alrighty, so they're nice and cooled off. Well, they're room temperature, and that's that's perfect for, for this, just room temperature. So now on my stove, I have my oil all heated up, and I do have it pretty hot. I went for, you're gonna look for between 400 and 425, okay? Because we're literally going to deep fry these like dip them. We're not gonna have them sit in there for a couple minutes or anything. So we want a higher temperature there. So we're just gonna grab our donut and use a pair of tongs to hold it like this. And we're just gonna plunge that right into our oil and you'll see it start to sizzle. And just give a little count to maybe five or six seconds there. <laughs> and that's that's it. Let it drip out dun, 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 and plunge it right into our powdered sugar. And then we're going to kind of give it a turn around there because we want a lot of powdered sugar on there. And voila. Just like that. And for the finishing touch, okay, yep, we have to add our jelly because it's a jelly-filled donut, right? So I have found that this is, like, the, the jelly is really runny, okay? No matter which one I use, I even tried chilling it, everything, it still runs right out, so it could get a little messy. So we'll do this a little carefully. So we're just going to kind of poke our cupcake, give it a squeeze, dun, 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 and then we have a little bit on top and lift it up just like that and that's what we're looking for and i have found too it gets easier as you do them and that's what we got to do next you know repeat 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 with the rest of our cupcakes drippage drippage if you do get some drippage oh my gosh no worries just add some more powdered sugar to cover it up <laughs> you'll never know right <laughs> all right well you know what since that's all there is to it, why don't we move on to our last cake mix hack recipe? Duncan Hines. Our cake's so moist, even unfrosted, the taste comes alive. He says he couldn't help himself, it's so delicious. He's right. Harry! Duncan Hines Light Deluxe 2 and Pudding Recipe. So moist and delicious, they might not wait till they're frosted. Ooh, and on to our third and final cake mix hack recipe of the evening. And I have to say, it's my favorite recipe of the evening too. Oh, we are gonna make some party cake delight, y'all. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was grab the package of, oh yes, golden Oreo double stuff. Now you'll need the family size, not the party size or the regular size, the one right in the middle, the family size, okay? And I took 20 cookies out and I made crumbs out of them and put them in a bowl. And to do that, all I did was put them in a Ziploc bag and bang them all up with a rolling pin. <laughs> to that, we are going to add four tablespoons of melted butter. Oh yes. And let's get down and dirty and use our hands and just mix that all up. All right. And then we're gonna press that down into a nine inch square baking pan. Oh yeah, now this is gonna be the crust of our party cake delight. Oh my gosh, nothing better than butter and Oreos. Okay, yeah, butter and golden Oreos maybe, uh-huh. Okay, here we go. So now we have our crust. Okay, so let's set that aside. 
and work on our filling. So in this bowl here, I have one package of, yup, instant pudding French vanilla. And I also have a third of a cup of dry funfetti cake mix. <laughs> and to that, we are going to add one cup of whole milk and one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, and now we're just gonna whisk that together until it's all incorporated, and then we're gonna set that aside for about two minutes, okay? Yep, it's starting to set a little bit there. That's perfect, it's about two minutes or so. Now to that, we're going to add, oh, about, about an eighth of a cup of rainbow sprinkles right to it, oh yeah. Dun, dun. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, and also we're gonna use one tub of whipped topping, and I do prefer the extra creamy, okay? So we're gonna add that in, and then we're gonna fold it in until it's nice and smooth and creamy. Right, just perfect. Now, we are going to top our crust, you know, our cookie crust, <laughs> with this. Just put it all in, and then we're gonna smooth it out until it's nice and smooth. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, and now one more tub of extra creamy whipped topping. Oh yes, and we're gonna spread that on top of this. All right, perfect, okay. So, our next step, we're gonna take uh, all the rest of our cookies that are left, oh yeah, and we're gonna beat them up all again to make some crumbs to put on top of it, okay? All right, okay, and now you guessed it, we are gonna sprinkle the top with these, uh, with these cookie crumbs, a nice big, thick layer on top, and as we refrigerate this, oh, these are gonna get like nice and soft and yummy. Oh man, I tell you what, this is my kind of dessert. I, oh, I, can you tell I'm excited? All right, and then for the finishing touch, oh yeah, more rainbow sprinkles. I mean, because, you know, why not, right? I'm gonna say about another eighth of a cup will be just fine for the top. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, we'll put a little more. <laughs> okay, so, and then we'll just clean up our sides a little bit there, and y'all, that's all there is to it. All we have to do now is pop this into the fridge and let it chill. Now, don't skip this step. It has to chill. If we cut into this now, we're gonna have a big mess. I mean, a delicious mess, but it'll be a mess. We're gonna pop this into the fridge and we're gonna let it chill for at least six hours and I prefer overnight for sure, okay? And then we'll come back and I'll let you know what it looks like. We'll cut some slices up and I'm also going to freeze some of it too and get that out and let it thaw out and taste it to let you know how that turns out as well, okay? All right. Off to the fridge. And there you have it. Three cake mix hack recipes. So fun and so delicious. <laughs> what you think? <laughs> oh my gosh, I had such a good time. Oh, everything looks so good. Oh man, and I tried everything. It's all so delicious too. Oh my gosh, you know what I did? I dipped the cookies in the in the, in the party cake delight. Oh, so good. All right, well, starting over here, our party cake delight, y'all. Look, this dessert is so good. And you know what? Surprisingly, it's not crazy sweet. I know that sounds absolutely insane, okay? But it isn't. It's 
it's almost a little bit light. I don't know how to explain it. Either way, it's totally, totally delicious. So, I did freeze it. Now, okay, I didn't take it out. And I literally just took it out of the freezer because, of course, I forgot. Okay, so it's still frozen. Oh, it's starting to thaw. But, but, but anyway... Stephen's parents came to visit yesterday, and I froze a piece for them, too, and I put them to the test with it. I said, you know, thaw it out, try it out, let me know what you think, because we want to know if we can freeze it or not. They came back and said that it was absolutely fantastic, taste tasted great, like it wasn't even frozen. So I'm, I'm very pleased with that. This is also a dessert that you could make and freeze. So that's really, really great there. And then how about these donuts? Oh, donut cupcakes. Filled donut cupcakes made with cake mix. Yes. <laughs> oh man, these are so delicious, y'all. That deep frying on the top, it makes it like crunchy. It's like a donut. I mean, it really, I can't rave enough about these. I know I said this was my favorite dessert of the evening, but uh, last, I made these yesterday and last night I had those for dessert and I, ha I came out for another one. I just had to. They were so delicious. Very, very good. And um, you can also make just a plain powdered sugar uh, donut cupcake doing just the same thing. And just don't fill them with the jelly. These are delicious too. So good. So, so good. And then lastly, our cookies. Oh, these are good too. Um, I, I really, I can't. I was going to say you have to try this. But you got to try all of them. You have to. And if you do, oh man. Please let me know how everything turned out, okay? Send me pictures. We like to share them, you know, like in future videos. Definitely send me pictures if you try any of these, okay? Um, I just... Oh, I'm just so happy with the way they turned out. I kind of, like, played around with these, um... Mm, probably for about a week before today. I was I started during the week messing around and coming up with some some different ideas for recipes tonight. And I'm pleased with how they turned out. And I hope you are, too. Oh my goodness, I'm whooped though. <laughs> but I had such a great time tonight. Oh, I hope you did too. Oh, wow. Definitely, definitely hit us up over on social media. We are on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and we're now on Twitter too. All of our contact information is listed right down below. That would be our email address and our post office box, you know, for that snail mail. <laughs> definitely, definitely hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when we have a new video coming out, okay? Thank you so, so much for spending your time with me this evening. It means the world to me. I hope you had a good time. More than that, I hope you have a fantastic week, everybody. And remember to always stay positive, all right? And I will see you next time. Ciao, everybody! Mwah! <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I going to eat first? Oh, I guess I better turn the camera off. I'm Betty Crocker, and I promise you a perfect cake every time you bake. That's right, perfect. You be the judge. Remember, I guarantee a perfect cake every time you bake. Cake after cake after cake. Bake a Betty Crocker cake right now. Perfect every time. <laughs>